In this question, they give you the reagent and they give you the product you want to, they want you to turn it into. And the question is, what do you need to react your, your starting material with in order to get that product? Now, when you look at the starting material, one thing that should really stand out is the double bond. When you have those pi bonds, that's extra molecular glue that you can use to add things onto the molecule. So we'll be doing some type of addition reaction. And when you do an addition reaction, you want to think of specifically what you added, where you added it, and how you added it. So when you compare the sort of carbon chain in the reactants with the carbon chain in the products, you can clearly see two things are on the products that were not in the reactants. You've added two OHs. Not only that, but one OH is coming out at you, and the other OH is going away from you. And so they are added anti to each other. And so this is an example of anti-dihydroxylation. So when you do anti-dihydroxylation, the first thing you want to do is to get a peroxy acid in your first step. So the first thing you need is a peroxy acid. And then the second thing that will always be a little bit easier, it's just an H3O plus wash. So you are only looking at the H3O plus in that second step. So in the first step, the, uh, the peroxy acid you use can look different. The big idea is you just need some carbon chain with a carbon double bonded to an oxygen with two O's and an H. So you could just draw that structure out. Or you could draw a, spe a specific peroxy acid. So the first one, so a specific peroxy acid, an example of one could be peroxyacetic acid, which is this peroxy acid here. Or you could, ha you could write MCPBA. If you remember, that's metachloroperoxybenzoic acid. It looks something like this, and you don't need to know the structure for this, um, but you should definitely know the abbreviation MCPBA. So it's a peroxy acid. So any of those can show up in that first step. The second step is always H2O, or sorry, H3O plus hydronium. And so that would, those would be the reagents you would need in order to accomplish this transformation, this anti 